Hello everyone. Welcome to SPS Solutions. So as in my last video I have mentioned that I'll give you my chapter wise explanations. So this is the first topic and chapter I'm selecting for giving my video. This chapter belongs to 10th class. The name of the chapter is chemical reactions and equations. I'll complete my chapter in two or three videos because it is not possible to complete all the topics uh, in single video only. So get ready for that. So basically in the chapter the first topic is chemical reactions. So in the chapter chemical reactions and equations this is the first topic that is chemical reaction. The definition of chemical reaction the meaning of chemical reaction is that process in which new substances are formed by chemical combination of two or more than two substances means those reactions where there is chemical combination of at least two substances the substances can be more than two three four five and so on okay so that process is called as a chemical reaction and the special quality about the chemical reaction is it can't be reversed back by physical process because natural process is containing I have written here natural and natural especially there is physical process that chemical reactions can't be reversed back by physical processes okay physical process means by melting by freezing by boiling anything so these are the some of the natural physical processes so this is the definition and the quality of chemical reaction that the process in which new substances are formed by combination of two or more than two substances it can't be reversed back by physical process for example if i'm taking the example of chemical reaction basically there are so many examples we are experiencing we are observing in our surroundings the very first example i have written is digestion of food we are eating the big big pieces of food and uh, after eating the food start getting digested inside our body through different different processes like uh, we are discussing that the first digestion is taking place in mouth only because uh, when we are chewing the food the saliva enzyme saliva salivary amylase enzyme that is present in the saliva of our mouth that is mixing with the food to that helps the food to uh, digest to break the food into small pieces so that is the first chemical reaction I am discussing that is digestion of food. Second is respiration. Respiration is basically not inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. That is breathing. Respiration is what? Respiration is oxidation of food. We are eating food. So oxidation of food to produce energy is called as respiration. Okay. So that is the exact definition of respiration. Third is formation of curd. Fourth is very, very known to you. It is uh, you are experiencing, you are observing so many things regarding this corrosion. Corrosion is actually breakdown of any metal in the presence of air and moisture or in the presence of certain corrosive chemicals is called as corrosion. Basically in lower classes, we are discussing corrosion for iron that is called as rusting. And when we discuss the formula of rust, the formula is Fe2O3 dot XH2. This is the formula of rust. Corroded iron. That is the formula of corroded iron that is called as rust. And here I have written X. X actually is the number of water molecules that vary in every case. Because sometimes more number of water molecules are available. So there the number of X molecules will be more. Sometimes the number of water molecules is less. So there the number of X molecule will be less. So this X will be the number of water molecules and it vary in every condition. Okay. Now, next we are going to discuss the nature of chemical reactions. Means, whenever a chemical reaction is taking place, how it is taking place, what is its nature, what is the change in the nature when the complete reaction has been taken place. So all these things we have to discuss in this part. Okay. So, the first nature of chemical reaction is change in state. Means, whenever the reactants are going towards product side, the change in physical state may take place. I am telling you, it may or may not be there. 
okay the change in state may be there or may not be there okay it is not mandatory in every condition the second part is it can takes place by change in color of the solution also color of the reactant to product side also so the example if i am taking this this example is very known to you i'm just explaining the example by taking this part so this is zinc zinc metal plus copper sulfate solution gives you zinc sulfate solution plus copper metal so this you have studied in your lower classes that is in your ninth class as an example of displacement reaction but if i take the example of this copper sulfate solution you will know copper sulfate is easily available in lab and it is appearing as a blue color okay so this blue color copper sulfate solution <clears throat> if in this solution i add zinc metal in the solution then after some time after a period of time like after a time of 5 to 10 minutes the blue color of the solution changes to greenish brown and finally to reddish brown okay so this is the example of this uh, part that change in colors can also be taking place whenever a reaction is there third part is change in temperature like whenever a chemical reaction is taking place the change in temperature may be there or may not be there both the cases can take place okay so example if i take place is simply very simple example i can just uh, um, uh, observe this example in your in our labs also like if i if i take water in a test tube and i add 2 to 3 granules or 2 to 3 small pieces of naoh solid naoh in water the test tube becomes so hot because the dissolution of this sodium hydroxide in water is an exothermic process exothermic process i'll teach you in this chapter only later on so exothermic process basically is that process in which the heat is evolved from the reaction so basically if i add naoh to water now a lot of heat is evolved out okay so this is the example of temperature change or change in temperature the fourth example is evolution of gas means whenever a reaction is taking place the gas may be evolved out after the completion of reaction for example if i add metal in acid the hydrogen gas will be released out ye sign maine kyu banaya this sign is for gases means whenever the gases are formed in the side of product it will be released out as soon as it is formed so this sign is for releasing out of the gas so jiske sath bhi hum ye sign lagate hain it means that that product is formed in the form of gases and that will be taken out from the reactant mixture as soon as it is formed okay so all these are the nature of the chemical reaction the chemical reaction can takes place by all these nature changes like change in state change in color this is the example i have mentioned with you change in temperature this is the example of that there are so many examples you, take, you can take others also and this is the last change that is evolution of gas sometimes it can takes place okay so let's move on to the next topic of the chapter so this part is about the parts of the chemical reaction okay next topic is this one after the nature of chemical change this is the next topic that is the part of a chemical reactions means whenever a chemical reaction is taking place how many parts are there in that reaction so basically in every reaction there are two parts the reactant part and the product part okay so we have to discuss what is reactant what is product how we will recognize it how we will designate it in the reaction where we have to write the reactant part where we have to write the product part so all these things we are discussing in this part so first is reactant reactant kya hote hain hamare paas the part or the substances which can take participation in the reactions means which are participating in the reaction to take place is called as the reactant part okay and product part kya hoga hamara the substances which is formed after the completion of the reactions means 
जब इनका पार्टिसिपेशन फिनिश हो जाएगा एंड इनके पार्टिसिपेशन के बाद इनके रिएक्शन करने के बाद जो नया सब्सटेंस बनेगा हमारे पास दैट पार्ट विल बी द प्रोडक्ट पार्ट ठीक है वो हमारा प्रोडक्ट होगा सो रिएक्टेंट्स आर दो विच आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द रिएक्शन विच आर रिएक्टिंग इन द रिएक्शन एंड द प्रोडक्ट आर द सब्सटांसेस विच आर फॉर्मड आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ द रिएक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टेक द एग्जाम्पल फॉर बोथ द केसेस आई हैव रिटर्न अ रिएक्शन ओवर हेयर फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वॉटर ओके आई हैव मेड इट वेरी सिंपल दट इज एच टू हाइड्रोजन वेन इट इज अलाउड टू रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म वॉटर ओके नाउ आई कैन मैंशन दिस पार्ट फॉर यू लाइक इट शुड बी रिटर्न एच टू प्लस ओ गिवस एच टू ओ रिएक्शन तो ऐसे होनी चाहिए बट वाई आई हैव रिटर्न ओवर हेयर ओ टू एंड देन आई हैव मेड इट हाफ बेसिकली द ऑक्सीजन इज अवेलेबल टू अस इन ओ टू फॉर्म इन नेचर एंड वेन वी हैव टू इंक्रीज इट्स लिमिट और डिक्रीज इट्स लिमिट देन वी हैव टू डू इट बाय आर ओन केमिकल प्रोसेस ओन केमिकल मैथड्स सो दिस इज द परफेक्ट वे टू राइट द रिएक्शन एंड इफ वी हैव टू राइट इट ओ टू वी कैन डबल ठीक है फॉर बैलेंसिंग द रिएक्शन सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव रिटर्न ओवर हेयर ओ टू का हाफ ओके देन एच टू प्लस हाफ ओ टू गिवस एच टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वॉटर का रिएक्शन है ये इन दिस रिएक्शन हेयर ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आई हैव रिटर्न हेयर टू पार्ट हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन पार्ट बोथ आर रिएक्टिंग टूगेदर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द रिएक्टिंग पार्ट ओके एंड आफ्टर द रिएक्शन ऑफ बोथ द थिंग्स द न्यू प्रोडक्ट इज फॉर्म दैट इज वॉटर दैट इज कंसिडर्ड एज प्रोडक्ट सो द पार्टिसिपेशन पार्ट इज रिएक्टिंग पार्ट एंड द न्यूली फॉर्म पार्ट इज प्रोडक्ट पार्ट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द पार्ट ऑफ अ केमिकल रिएक्शन chemical reactions are having two parts reactants and product so students this is all about this video in the next video i'll discuss the types of chemical reactions and if you need to ask any questions please comment in the comment box but before that if you like my video kindly subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for notification and don't forget to share it with your friends Thank you for watching SP Solution